and welcome. And welcome to a brand new episode in the wonderful hardcore Minecraft. Uh, you guys know every episode we do a poll, but last week we didn't have a poll because we gotta do it every two weeks now, so I'll just go on and say it. Guys, if you wanna actually take part in the creation of this mod pack, which you better, all you've got to do is click the little eye up in the top left, right? It's up there somewhere. It's a little eye. Just click it and you will be brought to the poll. And you can vote on what mod you want in the mod pack for next week. I know it's crazy. Also, if you really want to help out the, the whole, you know, the Yes Man, the crew, guys, down below is the share button. Hit that share button and share this to Facebook. It would be amazing if you had the time to do that and wouldn't mind getting some of your people to just join us. But if you don't, then forget you, because you're mean to me, and I, I don't like mean people. All right, guys, so I changed the base up a little bit. I think I should give you the tour before we get started. Okay, so let's just do a little tour real quick. Guys, I upgraded the uh, the foundry by one block because it's all we could afford. Uh, you'll notice that I closed up the front. Well, that's for a good reason. It was, well, I actually don't have a good reason. I redid the front, so therefore I wanted to close that up. So uh, I'll just show you. Guys, I added uh, quite a few more little bitty... Uh, Let's just say, say I added some more portal guns, guys. It's Or not portal guns, but sentry guns. I also widened up this. I widened up the glass up front so that we can see out and uh, have a better field of view. It's nice. I like it. Uh, when I have company, they always uh, comment, hey, good view. To clarify, I've never had any company. It's a hardcore world based out of my computer. No one can actually join it, so don't judge me. Uh, I just need to clarify because somebody will be like, I can't believe you did this to me, Lance. I can't believe it. Doesn't matter. It's awesome, though. So I did it, okay? I did it. It's good. Guys, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Okay. Uh, this room over here, I've redone it a little bit. I had to build this wall a little bit different. Uh, I had to bring it back a couple blocks so it's set flush so, you know, we get that lovely window. But then I hollowed out this back here. I put an endless water source right here. You're probably wondering why I did this. Well, I put the water there for whenever we cook stuff out of this, which uh, we're going to do a, a little bit later because I come up with, I got some good recipes for us. Uh, but one of the things that I want to do, guys, is I want to make this place look a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to grab my pick, and we are going to hollow the rest of this out real quick. All right, it shouldn't take... There we go. I knew it was hollow. Well, somewhat hollow because of the thing we built in there. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. It's going to look baller when I'm done. Uh, but basically, just making some of the rooms a little bit bigger. The other ones we're not really messing with. Well, there isn't but two rooms. So I guess I can't say, well, the other one we're not messing with. Because, I mean, technically we're messing with it. All right. There we go. I'm going to cover this up, by the way. Because I'll accidentally fly in there and get uh, burned alive. And that would really suck. All right, so I got all that stuff done. Well, I got that part hollowed out. Now, guys, I already have a game plan. One of the things we're building this episode is another food item. I know you're probably like, well, you got food items. We're going to make drying racks, guys, because it seems to be something we're getting a lot of, and we uh, we like things that we get a lot of. Okay, so I'm going to do it like that. We're going to make, uh, that looks good. Okay, if you don't know what a drying rack is, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's for drying things. All right, we're going to go in the old cooker room. I like to call this the cook room. We're going to throw up some uh, some drying racks up here. Then we're going to attach some, uh, some zombie meat to it, just like that. Now, guys, all we're doing, we're just drying out some meat, boys. We're just drying out some meat. Uh, we're, we're making bee meat jerky. It's just not smoke jerky. It's... It's... Well, let, let, I'll be honest, I ain't really sure what I'm trying to get at here, but we're making stuff that does stuff, okay? Don't judge me. All right, all right. So, it takes a little time. I'm not exactly sure on the time, but that's good, okay? We got that. It's beautiful, lovely, whatever. 
All right. The other thing that I want to work on, guys, uh, we'll let that dry. I want to work on our sentry to guns. Now, let me go outside and show you. By the way, in the comments, I just want to point this out. In the comments, a lot of you guys were like, you didn't get close enough to the sentry turrets. That's why they didn't attack you. Well, just so you guys know, this is about as close as I can get, and they ain't attacking me. Now, guys, check this out. See how I put them in the wall? Look how good this is. Dude, the reason I did this was because it protects their upper body. And by protecting their upper body, it means there's less stuff for the skeleton to shoot. Skeletons always aim for the head. And technically, the head of this thing is at the top. So they can't really get it. So I'm a genius. And let's just write that off as Lance is a genius. G freaking G. All right. Now that I've shown you that, I want to do that on this side. But unfortunately, once we start taking these out, you'll see the problem. All right, boys, you'll see the problem. Let me show you the problem. Not only do I not have enough, but then we get in this room and this whole room will start looking like a piece of crap if we do this, uh, do this. So I'm not sure how we're going to do it yet. Cause look, if we do it, we we'll have to put a block here and one down here. It it'll just get to looking messy. I don't know what to do. I'm sure some of you are like, don't worry about it, dude. That's not even practical to worry about. It's just looks. Just make it look good on the outside. Well, the outside's not the side I'm going to see. It's the inside I'm worried about. Okay, now I'm going to, now we're going to do a little bit of that food stuff I was talking about. And then we're going to go shear some sheep. This is the first episode ever. I actually have a plan, guys. Usually I just run through going, yo, 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 bitch, yo, 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 yo. Okay, so guys, we're going to build some more stuff. Uh, we're not going to go to our garden. I realized in the last episode that I go to my garden way too much. So I harvested a bunch of shit this episode, okay? So don't worry. So I looked this up, guys. And actually, I made this long time ago. Shit, it must have been years ago. Two years now that I made one of these. But we're making a juicer, guys. Why am I making a juicer? Because these things are amazing for food. Check this out, boys. Guys, take a juicer, find some, some, some grapes, throw the grapes in with the juicer like that. Boom. I just made blueberry, uh, blueberry juice, boys. Now, I'm sure you're like, okay, cool, Lance. You made some juice. I'm not impressed. But juice refills three dots. Okay, you're like, okay, that's cool. Three, three juices. Uh, okay, okay. What, you want me to be excited about it, poo boy? No, well, I don't want you to be excited, actually. Uh, what, I, what the hell? I thought... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold up, hold on. All right, so see that? We got some juice. This will keep us going for a while. Keeps us hydrated, and everybody likes blueberry. Well, I actually don't really like blueberry, but in a survival situation, I imagine I would drink blueberry, no problem. All right, so the next thing I want to do, guys, is I want to work on a brand new recipe. See, in a bunch of the episodes, we were like, ah, oh, Lance is going to do food stuff. And then I just kind of, you know, I go harvest stuff in the garden. Well, this episode, we're going to go harvest stuff, but it ain't going to be from the garden. Okay, so we're going to go on a little, little. we're going to go on a run. We're, we're going to call it a run, okay? What I'm going to do, and by the way, you guys know I added a map mod. First thing I'm going to do is see if everything around here is hostile. Absolutely. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to take a little nap. I'll be right back, and then we're going to go gather some resources that we don't have. All right, boys and girls, we're all rested up. Let's get this party started, shall we? By the way, I'm loving the morph. I know it looks annoying, but it's not. Okay, we're going to go out the back. All right. thought I thought something. We're going to go out the back, okay? We're going to go out the back door and hopefully... Well, I just slept, so it better be daylight. Uh, okay, so it is daylight. We're going to be looking for two things now. We're looking for sheep and a lot of them. And we're also going to be looking for snow, guys. The snow is for uh, is a very important thing while the sheep are... They're important because I want to get my airship up and running. And also any kind of extra food we can get our hands on is always a good thing. All right, here we go. Let's zoom out. Okay. So we've already explored this direction. We've done it. Uh, we've recorded it, guys, but we've never mapped it with a map. So basically, we're just going by old Indian trails that we found. Okay, maybe old Indian trails isn't exactly what I was trying to say, but we're just going this direction. We've been this direction before. Now, I'm pretty sure at these mountains, if we take a left, we'll get to that village that we got to. And by the way, I read the comments that said... 
Harvest the thingy ma bob. Okay, let me think about this. Oh, by the way, there's snow. Um, you didn't say thingy ma bob. I just kind of got a little distracted. Okay, so all this snow we can use. I'm looking for snow that's in a flat area where we can just grab a bunch of it, like right here, for instance. Okay, I don't remember, guys. I'm not trying to get the uh, the dirt. The dirt is not important to us. What's important to us is the snow. By the way, we're not at the base, so let's cut a little sound on, shall we? Well, at least we're getting dirt with it, I guess. Uh, not exactly what I was shooting for, but, you know, I'll take it. You know what would have been better would is if it was a stone surface? Let's see, where are we at? So we're right here now, headed this direction. We just need to find some... There we go, perfect. We'll use that area right there with a lot of stone to prevent me from being able to, like, get it. Well, actually, this will work, too. All right, so we got a, we, we're getting a decent amount of snow. Now, I think that's about all the snow I want to get. Now, let's look for sheep. All right, we're entering sheep looking for me. By the way, let me look at snowballs for a second and see what I can actually make with snowballs. Okay, so I can make ice cream. Holy shit. Now, this is interesting, guys. Now, for instance, well, I was looking at milk, all right? I'm looking at milk, and I'm like, okay, damn, this is going to suck if I have to milk a cow every time. But apparently... You milk a cow once. You milk that little bastard one time, and you can get four milk per milking. So that's crazy. So I've got the uh, snowballs. Now what we need to do is we need to get a cow back to our base. That's my nothing. That is my next goal, guys. I want to get a cow to our base, lock it in a hole, and then just milk it to death. I think it's a good idea. Everyone else might be like, "That's cruel." I don't care what everyone else thinks. I think it's amazing. So we're gonna try to kidnap a cow. Or cow nap, cow nap, a cow, cow nap, nab, cow nab, a cow. Leave me alone. And I want it at the front of the base. I don't want it. But I don't want the cow back here at my garden either. I want to get it at the front of the base, guys. So remember, this is vanilla. So we get. We're gonna try to get that cow. Holy crap, guys, guys, guys! I totally forgot that all we needed for balloons was string, and I've been using the. I've been like harvesting the cotton and making it. So there we go. There's 27 balloons right there. That's crazy. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I'll take that. All right, remember, I'm multitasking, guys, so don't judge me. Okay, okay, so I've got that, and I got that. Now, what am I looking for now? There was something I wanted to make, and then I forgot what it was we were even doing. Oh, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to get a cow. We're trying to get a cow. Let me get some, uh, let me get some, some cow bait. All right, so I did a 360 around the base, and I've determined that there are no close-by cows, okay? So there's no close-by cows, so that sucks. Um... All right, let me look something up real quick. Let's look up tanks. Uh, okay, that's not going to work. Okay, I need some something to store milk in but other than a bucket. All right, guys, so I have absolutely nothing besides buckets to get milk from. So I'm going to rely on you guys. Guys, I need your help, and uh, that would be great if you could assist me in finding it. Also, I could start working on our little boat again, so that's good. Okay. Uh, I'm working on our airship again, guys, because I do want to get our airship uh, a little bit bigger. And I want to start using it. I know it can fly, but I want a mobile base of operations. It'll be fantastic. Don't worry. All right. Let's see if it'll fly. I got good news, boys. I got good news. She, she's still seaworthy. Were she still seaworthy? I like it. Boom. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to make it look good, guys. We're going to fly it places. It's going to be perfect. Also, I'm going to get make some engines for it. Let me see what we need for the engines. All right, hold on. Backslash. Uh oh, well, that was almost bad, wasn't it, boys? Uh, iron water. Okay, iron water in a furnace. Let me check on my iron. I really don't think we have the iron to be making an engine yet, though. Now, we really don't want to waste our iron on an engine, guys. I would, but I don't want to. Guys, so this is what I need. We got to put some mods up, and we're going to have some mods in the voting, uh, maybe, uh, that'll really help us with this world. I want to do more witchery, but it still scares me. So I'm trying to learn a little bit before we get into witchery, guys. But I want to get my airship up and running. Uh, we're also, our food production is coming in. We are getting a lot. Now, that's what I want to do uh, before I forget. So I'm going to set six, uh, six of that aside for the cows. But I want to turn the rest of this into flour. And I think I need a mortar and a pedestal to turn this into flour, which it is. Okay, okay. So I've got 64 flour. Let's look this up real quick. Oh my god, guys, they have one of my favorite foods ever. 
General Cho's Chicken. I don't give a shit how you say it, but that says General Cho's Chicken. Guys, it is one of my favorite foods, and we are absolutely going to make General Cho's Chicken. We have a mission, guys. Our new mission is General Cho's Chicken. We are going to make General Cho's Chicken if it is the last and final thing. The series will not continue without General Cho's Chicken, dude. All right, so this is what we got to get. I, um, we might already have it. Let's see what we got, guys. I'm not serious. Like, you guys think I'm joking right now, and they're like... Oh, that's funny, Lance. That's so funny. No, I'm not kidding. If I don't make General Cho's chicken, I will quit the series. Okay, so what are we going to need? We're going to definitely need to off some chickens, it looks like. We're going to need honey. Now, I know... Wait, wait. How, wait. Honey or sugar? I'm not sure how to get honey, though. So let's look this up. Honey? All right. So in order to get honey... Uh, actually, it's not telling me how to get honey. I'm clicking it, but nothing's happening. All right, we don't need honey, guys. We don't need honey, but it was just what I was thinking about using. We can use sugar. Now, we all know how to get sugar, but we're going to have to go look for some. Okay, so I'm going to double check it real quick just to make sure there's no new method of getting sugar. Otherwise, we got to go get sugar cane. So in order to make sugar, I'm going to look this up. Let's see. Oh, oh, boys, don't worry. If we get honey, we can turn it into sugar. Looks like sugarcane's still the only way to go. Now, the only way I know to get sugarcane is to leave the base, which I'm sure assuming is nighttime since we're getting shots fired. Yep, it is. All right, we'll worry about the sugar tomorrow. Let's get the rest of the supplies before we worry, okay? We're going to worry about the rest of the supply. This is like Master Chef Death Edition. I'm dead serious. All right, let's see. I, we should have broccoli. You know what we need? We need a chest just for current recipes. That's what I'm going to make. And a skillet, apparently. Let me look this up. Hold on. All right, and we'll put the recipe one, like, over my bed, because I think that's a good idea. All right, so we're going to need the skillet, um, and we're going to need broccoli. All right, 56 broccoli. That's looking good. Uh, chili peppers. I know that we needed chili peppers as well. Okay, so I think that's all we have that's, that's like, related to what we need. All right, I'm double checking. So sugar. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. We need flour. We need flour. By the way, interesting fact right now, guys. I actually know how to make General Cho's chicken. Not order it. I know how to make it. We're also going to need rice, which I don't think we have any rice. I don't think we found rice yet. But I do have an idea uh, before I forget. All right, we absolutely don't have rice. Now, guys, what is the name of that mod called? Let me just look it up real quick. All right. So, guys, check this out. This mod had something that I needed. It's called a market. Now, in order to make a market, we need an emerald. But once we have a market, I can buy the seed that we need. So this is our goal. I'm going to go mine, and we're going to find that, and we're going to make it. Dude, all my jerky's done, by the way. We are uh, we're doing really good, but General Cho's Chicken will happen. Also, guys, don't forget, I need you to vote on next week's mod. It's super important that you do. If you don't... I don't know. So, guys, go up there and vote. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I really like doing this hardcore series, but we have to go out and do, actually do stuff. Uh, we're just waiting for some good mods to come in that give us a reason to get out there and do stuff. This is your friendly neighborhood, Lancey Poo, signing off. Take it easy and keep your head down. Guys, uh, I meant to make it go out with a bang, but I might have got a little antsy. I'm not I'm not kidding. I, I was supposed to do this in sync, but, but it kind of...